Hi everyone, the Lord Wolf here. Welcome back to some World of Warcraft. In today's video, we are going to take a look at another one of those, I think they're bi-weekly events that exist in the game. They are the Brawl. Maybe it's a weekly event. This one ends in six days. And they're basically a battleground with a twist for an extra reward. In this case, a soldier's esteem, which grants you some artifact power and 300 honor pretty important if you want to like grind prestige ranks or something like that so um i've never done most of these of course this one is called gravity labs let's press join battle we are now queued up and the rules are gravity changes at regular intervals the flag carrier will be weighed down everyone else will be launched up but it's in eye of the storm okay we'll see how that works out the queue on that around three minutes um, that tends to be my experience here on the Ragnaros server. Two to three minute queues for most battlegrounds. So in the meantime, we are just going to fly around a little bit. I'm actually heading towards uh, a world quest. And uh, I've got Rhaegard with me, but I think it's a pretty long flight path. So we may not even make it there. Lovely waterfall here. And oh man, this almost gives me... Uh, nightmares there are some world quests and some emissaries as well i did my, my emissary for today already but some emissaries are a little bit more annoying especially the ones that are let's see if i can find one of them i think it's the kirin tor that always have these puzzle like um puzzle like goals that you have to finish and over here there's a very annoying one uh where you have to like reach a certain goal um, by by using like a, a, a transportation spell to, to uh, stay afloat uh, in, in sort of bubbles or something like that. You know, honestly, the Kirin Tor, it's only three that you have to do every time. Doesn't look like there's any here. That's the Wardens. Uh, and there's a reason why it's only three. It's because they are a bit more annoying. Dreamweavers. Here, Kirin Tor, ride the Mana Saber, another one of those. Uh, you basically have to ride a mana saber and then you have to guide it through some sort of mana pools. A uh, pretty annoying one. Definitely also one that is more time consuming than most of the other stuff. Here, for instance, we have to cleanse the burial grounds. And I don't think... I like those with a little progress bar here that give you different options when it comes to how you want to handle uh, the, uh, the mission itself. Sometimes it's skill stuff. You can also interact... Uh, plenty of, uh, of options here apparently we also can kill some stuff so let's do that use my magma totem down no flurry for you 24% done and okay just more stuff to kill it seems back there, there do it does look like there's some interactable items so let's draw some more Let's activate Stormkeeper. Zap these guys down. Kill this one. Go after that guy. Lava Burst. And the last 6% just, you know, destroy something. There we go. World quest done. I have to say, the Kirin Tor quests, they don't go as efficiently as this. On top of that, I'm now with... Uh, with Rhaegar here, he's my bodyguard. And for every finished world quest, he also gives me 75 extra gold. I think that that's pretty good too. We could head for that, but I do think by the time I'm there, we'll be in the battleground. Which I don't know anything about here. My first time having to do that specific brawl. We'll see how it works. Let's go over there. Still have some quests that I could take, but there we go. Perfect timing, actually, because I am at the flight path as well. We'll do join battle, and let's take a look at this. Is it weekly or bi-weekly? At this brawl in World of Warcraft. Someone is, in fact, also sharing a quest. I'm not sure where you get this one, but look at that. 10 billion artifact power, some marks of honor, and a brawler's footlocker. We'll accept that, of course, and we have three healers apparently that's pretty good uh you can also see that i've become a little bit addicted to uh to some add-ons here i've been adding more and more stuff uh so we've got uh, bartender voodoo um 
not even sure which one that I'm using anymore. Can I see that here? We've got details for the DPS. We have... Uh, I'm not sure which one is anymore for um, for changing the target, but it has a better uh, cost bar for visuals and all of that stuff, so it's pretty good. Hmm. So this, this gravity thing here, I think, won't have that much of an impact on the actual brawl itself, because most of the points, I think, tend to be centered around owning uh, two or preferably three of these, uh, of these towers and bases. So let's see what we can do. We should have a good composition. That could be quite rewarding to grab all of these. And to win it, of course. So another 40 seconds. We can also take a look at what the enemy has. Fury Warrior, Shadow Priest, Red Paladin, Fury Warrior, Beastmaster, Mistweaver Monk. Uh, another one. They can be annoying. Don't Windwalker Monk, Restoration Druids. Right, so I think... Windwalker is maybe healing spec as well. I still have so much to learn about this game. It's pretty crazy. But uh, it doesn't look like they are running without healers either. Let's see if we can make this happen. I think I'll start straight mid. Go for some uh, serious early game damage. And someone is revving his bike like crazy. Let's go. Right there. Ooh, that actually looks pretty cool as well. Monkrew. With the dirt bike, with a very much horde themed dirt bike. Very cool. Grab those bases and that's pretty decent. And okay, so that's the gravity lapse thing. And you can start to fly around as you please. <laughs> okay, pretty cool. Sap now, let's break that. Let's see if we can uh, do some damage on that warrior. Oh, failed disruption. That's more annoying. Let's put the counter-strike totem. That's a big fear. Right, then we have the priest that's not in range. Just keep that targeting. Let's go after the rogue a little bit. See if we can do some AoE stunning. Add more slows. Add another stun. Priest at the back. Can I continue to like instant cast on him? No, I can't. I'm actually gonna chase him. I think. Because uh, we don't want him to keep going too much. Uh, this time I'm actually going to grab some help as well. Like that. Stormkeeper is up. Let's go. Uh, should probably... Disrupt all of that. Stun him. Instant. Come on. Then get the hell out of here. So you leave our base alone. <laughs> See if I can kill that tendril with one dot. Got another stun. Right there. Let's put up this baby. Slow him down. Okay. Gotta use everything that I've got. I do still have one stun. It's me and this Taz in a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I'm actually going to defend my base here, though, if he wants to go somewhere else. That's actually okay for me. All right. And are we really at zero bases? That is crazy. Okay. Let's take this. And then let's see what our next, ob next objective is going to be. We should have this base. How come... We still haven't kept it. Ah, there it is. That's the timer right here. So just a bit more. Let's make sure that we try and cap it. Okay, that should do it. Let's also take this. And then, hmm, do we try and attack? They have three bases? How the hell did they take three bases? Okay. It's actually pretty interesting. So we're gonna attack Fell Reaver next. So just so that we can take it. There's a couple of guys here as well. Yeah, that basically does constantly reset uh, the uh, the map quite strongly. Yeah, Counter-Strike Totem, do your thing. That's good. 
Kill, kill, kill the hunter. He's down. He's still a monk. Okay, keep going. Oh, uh, maybe I. Well, I think that will be okay on this one. But we have zero bases. Oh my god. That's some pretty bad defense on our part. Get the mount ready. We do have the flag. And this just resets the dungeon and gives you a chance to uh, to really try and at like okay, lots of people here. Let's put this up because I'll be targeted right away, of course. Uh, okay, do this. We'll do that. We'll put this in the middle of them all. Let's see if I can see we stun a bit. Ooh, that's definitely like a lot of people, which. I'm hoping I can buy the rest of uh, of my team some time to, for instance, take these three. That could be good. And the flag. Okay. Pretty even. Uh, hopefully, I kept like 10 guys busy there, giving us a chance to grab the rest. Interesting one. First time playing this brawl. Definitely not that easy to do sustained damage here, though. I am back. Uh, that sort of looks okay. Back there. Pretty big fight. And then over the flag, also pretty big fight. I uh, think I'll, I'll try and help out here. Can I still get there in time? That's the real question. They just grabbed it. Holy hell. Anybody? Oh, come on, I want to heal him. Oh, too late. That's so bad. That's actually lots of guys. And then the chain stun's coming in. Let's put up some dots. Man, they have so many people here again. That's crazy. This is a reset. Uh, some of them will hopefully leave. I'm going to fall back a little bit from my initial position. Try and heal up a little. Well, he won't let me. That's a warlock as well. Let's get on there. Hope that there's a healer. Throw my dots around. Protect him with a stun. Should probably target something else here first. Bit of a disruption. Go like that. Use everything I've got. Stormkeeper. Come on, guys. That's better damage. Earthquake. And we are reset again. They still... Well, we brought the flag in. But they still... Man, what the hell? Okay. All of you guys can land in there. I'm gonna try to get away and heal a bit. Heal. Heal. Uh, he's not letting me go. <laughs> Definitely not letting me go. Uh, we can try to reincarnate, although I think it's going to be wasted a bit. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Bit of a waste. Oh, well, there we go. We got two bases. So we did keep them busy. I would say slightly longer than they would have wanted. So I'll take that. My damage, though, not too great at the moment. They have the flag. They're gonna bring it in as well. Very close match. Uh, definitely not one that's all too easy to call here, I would say. They'll bring that in. Uh, won't let him just pass. If you wanna hit... What the hell? What? Oh, no, no they're all taking Reaver. Is there someone else fighting? Put this up. Go like this. Why am I alone? How, how am I alone? They're spawning here. Good God. Well. 
I guess uh, they didn't care about that base all too much. We are still keeping two of them, so I'd say that that's okay. And then I saw someone move very quickly with the glider from here. So maybe a tactic that I can try. Uh, where to head to? So let's see. Oh yeah, ooh. That does feel good. Can we grab the flag? Keep capping those bases. Now we want the flag. He's down. Slow him down. Let's see. Make sure. Oh, there's a, the priest now. Let's go. Keep him busy. Um, Reaver? I think I can try to go to Reaver. It's me and him take that take that uh protection elemental come help me we'll do that yes that's good paladin next he's more annoying but we can do some damage put this up again Ooh. Yeah, interrupted. Nicely done from the monk. Yeah, more of and more of them coming. Ours as well. Two bases. Still a slight advantage for us. That looks okay for now. And another reset. Uh, did we just lose something over here? Yes. Uh, God damn, that's a lot of them again. And I'm all alone here again. <laughs> All right, then we'll head back towards the flag, I think, because there's absolutely nothing that I can do here. Let's see if we can slow him down a bit. Okay, I uh, just need one more jump. All right, come after me now so that I can knock you off. Did that work? No, that didn't work. That's a bit more annoying. And then there's uh, a rogue there as well. Or was it always a rogue? That was a warrior with the charges. But okay. Keep him busy. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, that looks funny. <laughs> Everybody on high gravity. So maybe that's what you should do. Take a quick look at the map. But you have to be really fast to decide on where to go. Flag fights. None of our two bases are being threatened. We are at an advantage here so far. Let's see if we can help out at the flag. Ooh, he took it. Can we try slow him like that? Shock at the totem. At the totems. Oh, that's a good stun, I think. Then this gets reset. Gotta keep an eye on the flag carrier. What's he doing? Oh yeah, he doesn't move. Of course. He doesn't move. It would be good if we could stop him. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Alright, I grabbed it. Good. Big stun. Put this up. Alright, another big stun. Get the hell out of here. And, uh, yeah, keep them busy. 1-1 one, one in the bases. Which one is our base back there on the left? We are two bases. I've got the flag. Okay, alright. Better, better. Keep going. Hopefully, nobody's chasing anymore. Nope. Aha, and they've got the gravity. And you as the flag carrier have a bit of a chance to try and make it to your base. Of course, they could all land here. Uh, but it's my guys that have mostly landed here. Ah, god damn you. And <laughs> the warrior wants me though. He's not giving up. Just gonna keep going. 
That's a flag entered. Can take that counter strike totem. Really wants me. Then he dies. Now they all really want me. Can I do a bit of AOE here? Die rogue. He's down. I'll get that priest that's been annoying me all game. Goodbye. That's better. And healing. Lovely. Thank you very much. What's happening on the flag front? So two bases, three bases are ours. Quick flag would help us out. There we go. They're going for it. Let's see if we can... Oh, too bad. I've not been able to get anyone to drop from this ledge. Quite annoying. You'd think we could do better. Okay, he's out of there. And I think we'll have it. Do I want to try to pad my damage numbers a little bit on these guys here? We could try. Stormkeeper is ready. Hopefully they're close enough. That's not... Ah, that's better. There we go. Do some damage and then get the hell... <laughs> get out then. <laughs> As we have a victory. They want combatants, nothing too great. Curious coin and so waking essence, that's not bad. And you can leave the battleground and we should have our rewards. Let's take a look at that in the bag. I'm currently saving up all this artifact power for my second weapon, but there we go 3.1 billion, 2.5 billion. And well, I don't see the 10 billion. Oh, that's for a quest, of course. Mark of Honor, some laystone ore, and then. We could just fly back, if I can find the flight master. I think. Yeah, I can already see that I can turn in a quest in Dalaran. Which was for... Does it show up here? Is it Seed of Hope? Nope. Something different. One PvP brawl. And then the rewards. Uh, Soldier's Legacy. Legacy, 10 billion artifact power, 3 more marks of honor, and then I'm not sure what will be in the Brawler's Footlocker, but potentially something really good, of course. And if I go back for the queue here, I could still go uh, into the Brawl, but of course I won't have the quest again. So this is, in my opinion, a really nice way. You do get awesome rewards potentially for running these... Um, these different uh, types of uh, of events in uh, in World of Warcraft, and if there's one thing that Blizzard is really really good at, of course, it is to get people to get addicted to their game and to come back every day, every week, on uh, schedules that fit them. Um, yeah, it's World of Warcraft for a reason. Uh, they've got me hooked, although I'm not going all too crazy. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.